welcome back to Carmen's Corner. Today is Thursday, April 2nd, 2020. I decided to wear blue today because I wanted to support Autism Awareness. April 2nd is Autism Awareness Day. I'm so glad that you come and join me every day at Carmen's Corner. Today's story is going to be Quiet, There's a Canary in the Library by Don Freeman. Saturday morning, a girl named Carrie went to the library. Before selecting a book, Carrie always had a chat with Mrs. Curtis, the librarian. One Saturday morning, she sat down at a small round table between two boys and began looking at a book about the zoo. After a while, Carrie slowly closed her book and started talking silently to herself. If I were a librarian, I know what I would do, she said. I would have a special day when only animals and birds would be allowed to come in and browse. First, I'd hang this banner outside. Animal and bird day today. Welcome. Then, I'll sit here behind my desk and wait. Welcome to my library, Canary. How very nice of you to come so early. An old lion, I'm so glad you dropped by. I'm sure you know the rules, no roaring inside. Do come in, bear. There are many books about bears, I know, You'll enjoy pawing through. Here are a few. I'm so sorry about the door, elephant. Please let me help you. You'll need more than four chairs and a table of your own. I want you to be perfectly comfortable. I'm very proud to see you, Peacock. I was hoping you'd come today. To tell the truth, Turtle, I didn't hear you come in. What a lovely surprise. Do make yourself at home. Oh my, a giraffe. I hadn't planned on you popping in so soon. You'll find some tall tales up there on the top shelf. Do help yourself. A porcupine, how divine. Just see that you don't get too close to lions. They say he's very ticklish. Gracious me, I didn't expect a whole family of monkeys. Now promise you'll try to behave. This is a library, not a zoo, you know. If I let a horse come in, I suppose I'll have to allow a cow to come in too. Now isn't this wonderful? Everyone loves my library. They're all being quiet, as quiet as mice. Mice! Oh, horrors! I should have closed the door. They're racing up the elephant's trunk, and now they've frightened my canary. dear. I told that porcupine not to get too near the lion. Please, bear, you must treat those books with care. I've never heard such a rumpus. Lion is roaring, bear is growling, cow is mooing, and peacock is screeching. Oh, canary, what will we do now? And how can I ever get them to leave? Oh, thank you, Canary. Listen, everyone, the Canary is singing. I do believe she's telling them it's time to go. Goodbye, everyone. 
I do hope you enjoyed yourselves, but remember as you leave, please try to be very... Quiet! Who, me? Said one of the boys at the table. I wasn't making any noise. When Carrie realized she had spoken out loud, she was terribly embarrassed. After a few minutes, she went over to the bookshelf and chose another book to take home. I hope you'll enjoy this bird story, said Mrs. Curtis cheerfully. Oh, I know I shall, whispered Carrie. Canaries are among my very truest friends. And out the door she flew. Thanks for joining us today in Cronin's Corner. See you tomorrow. Bye.